Here we go, guys. Retata a la power drill. I love this. It's so much fun. You know, I, I just didn't get bored of it. And I still <laughs> have been using power drill for everything. There's more power drill videos to come. So here we go. There's not much really you can say about putting the potato on the cheese grater with the power drill. It's just, um, as long as you don't put it on the uh, fast speed, uh, you don't get as much potato around the kitchen, which is always a bonus. So, uh, yeah, here we go. I learnt that the hard way, believe me. So it is uh, great fun. And it, um, it flops off and stuff. It doesn't matter. You can always uh, rip it off and put it on the other end. So there you go. That's your potato bit. So, yeah, this just went on forever. It was good fun, though. I loved it. And I still can't believe it now. I still laughed even when I was putting the video together. But, uh, yep, and there you go. They often come flying off, and that's all part of the fun as well. So there we go. So <clears throat> we've nearly done all their potatoes. So what I was doing is boiling some water in the background. And I was also cooking some chicken in the background as well. So now we've got all our potato grated up and uh yeah there you go all the little core bits you know you can do them by hand at the end if you like no point chucking it away so just you don't want to uh, boil them till they're too soft because otherwise they just go into mush when you put them in the sieve so here we go we drain them out a bit <clears throat> and that's them done so now it's time to chop 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 all our yummies so we've got uh normal stuff i don't know i've you know couldn't get hold of everything I wanted on the day. So here we go. We've got some ham. We've got some chorizo. You could Depends if you're playing Italian or if you're doing some Spanish or whatever. You know, just do what you want. Put all your old favourites in there. Love cutting up the olives and that. And the sun-dried tomato. It was great. Just gave it that bit of zing as well. And uh, so here we go. So we, now we have to do the eggs. And that was good fun. So I had to mash the whisk so it fit in the drill. And here we go, zhuzh, zhuzh. and off we go, <laughs> it was good fun. And I managed not to get too much around the kitchen, that's always a bonus as well. So there we go, here's our eggs just about done, and it's nearly time to start putting it all together. So I had some uh, big, had the big pan on, using coconut oil. So here we go, putting our potato in, that gets nice, nice hot fried base and gets a good start. And because it's soft, you don't have to cook it forever do you so there you go you can pack it all up like you're making a pizza and um put all i uh, didn't have any onion or garlic this day so we put in a bit of onion powder and garlic powder good old favorite salt and pepper and i just poured the egg over and uh then covered it all really low heat stuck the cheese on and then put the lid on and uh cooked it nice and slow so yeah, the trouble was the top didn't go brown. So I had to get out the old blowtorch again, which is always good fun. And there you go. Have fun and enjoy and hope you like it. And uh, yeah, give it a go. See ya, bye.